three of the clock. It is now the third hour, and the windows of heaven begin to open, and the sun begins to colour the clouds in the sky before he show his face to the world. Now are the spirits of life, as it were, risen out of death. The cock calls the servants to their day's work, and the grass horses are fetched from the pastures. The milkmaids begin to look toward their dairy, and the good huswife begins to look about the house. The porridge pot is on for the servants' breakfast, and hungry stomachs will soon be ready for their victual. The sparrow begins to chirp about the house, and the birds in the bushes will bid them welcome to the field. The shepherd sets on his pitch on the fire and fills his tarpot ready for his flock. The wheel and the reel begin to be set ready, and a merry song makes the work seem easy. The ploughman falls to harness his horses, and the thresher begins to look toward the barn. The scholar that loves learning will be hard at his book, and the labourer by great will be walking toward his work. In brief, it is a parcel of time to good purpose, the exercise of nature, and the entrance into art. Farewell.